Rabbits make friendly, intelligent pets, but like all pets, they require proper health care and attention. Although commonly thought of as good pets for children, rabbits have quite complex needs. The decision to acquire one must always be viewed as a long-term commitment. To care for rabbits properly, you need to give them a suitable environment in which they can live and behave normally. You need to give them a proper diet and health care, but also appropriate company. Rabbits are social animals, so if you're getting a rabbit for the first time, you need to appreciate that actually you're going to have to get at least two. You can buy rabbits from pet stores or through breeders. But you can also go to rescue shelters, which have many rabbits looking for a new home. When getting a rabbit, there are certain things you should look out for. Make sure that the eyes, nose and ears of the rabbit are clean. The same goes for its anal region. This should be dry and without any droppings. The coat should be clean and soft without the presence of any parasites like fleas or mites. If possible, check its teeth to see if they are not broken or overgrown. Ask the seller what age the rabbit is, if it has been vaccinated and if it has been neutered. Also ask if they offer any guarantee of health or a return policy. A good quality pet shop or breeder will have no problem with this. Finally, ask what the rabbit is being fed on. Once at home, you need to start with the same type of food, as a sudden change of diet may provoke gut disturbance and diarrhea. Rabbits are intelligent, inquisitive and active animals. They need to be able to hop, run, stretch out, dig and stand fully upright on their hind legs. You need to provide your rabbits with enough space for them to perform all their normal behaviours. Rabbits can be kept inside or out. Indoor rabbits make good house pets and can easily be litter trained. However, they love to chew and dig, so be very careful with furniture and carpets. Provide them with, for instance, old towels or blankets or a small sandpit filled with earth. They can happily express their normal behaviour and you'll secure your valuable belongings. Outdoor rabbits can be kept in a hutch, but this only should be viewed as a shelter and a place to rest and feel safe. They also need a large exercise area, like a run or fenced area of garden with access to grass. Within this area, provide them with boxes or tubes as hiding places. Keep your rabbits on wood shavings, straw or hay. Avoid dusty or mouldy straw to prevent respiratory problems. Indoor rabbits can also be kept on soft towels or shredded paper. Make sure you regularly refresh the bedding and check your rabbit's rear ends regularly for matted droppings, especially in summer. Handle each rabbit every day from an early age onwards so they get accustomed to it. When picking up a rabbit, always support its hind quarters. Hold the front end of the rabbit under its chest between the front legs with one hand. Scoop up the hind end with your other hand and hold the rabbit close to your body so it feels secure. Never pick up a rabbit by its ears or let its legs dangle free. Rabbits can, as you probably know, reproduce rapidly. To prevent any surprises, it is recommended to neuter your rabbits, unless you wish to breed with them. Neutering will also prevent any territorial behaviour between them. You can neuter your rabbits from four to six months of age. It is recommended that you keep young rabbits separated into single-sex groups by three months of age. It's simple to feed rabbits, provide them with unlimited good quality hay or grass, some leafy green vegetables and herbs, and supplement this with only a small measured amount of nuggeted or pelleted feed. And always provide them with clean, fresh water. Treats should be kept to a minimum, but if you give treats, make sure they are healthy and natural.
The best way to avoid many medical problems in your pet rabbits is to have regular veterinary health checks, at least annually. Your rabbits will be given a full medical examination and the teeth can be checked. Your veterinarian will check for the presence of parasites and will closely inspect the teeth, particularly the back teeth, for any evidence of malocclusion. Malocclusion is when upper and lower jaws don't fit together correctly, which can lead to spikes on teeth. This is frequently seen in rabbits. These health checks can coincide with vaccinations. You should have your rabbits vaccinated routinely against rabbit hemorrhagic disease, or RHD, and against myxomatosis, two serious viral diseases which can be rapidly fatal in rabbits that are not vaccinated. Vaccination is the only protection against these diseases. A combined myxomatosis RHD vaccine can be given from as early as five weeks of age. Your veterinarian will provide you with further advice on vaccination as well as on flea control. As you can see, rabbits make wonderful pets. Quiet, clean, inquisitive, entertaining and responsive. What you need to remember is to feed the correct diet that is high in fiber. This will help prevent many of the common diseases. Have regular veterinary checkups and make sure your rabbit is vaccinated annually. And unless you have a strong wish to breed, have your rabbits neutered. If cared for properly, your rabbits will give you many years of companionship and rewarding pet ownership.